tell us a little bit about what the off season looked like for you. Yeah, the off season was good. Um, it was good to get back with with the family, and um, yeah, see family and friends, and then very busy in terms of, you know, highlighting players, watching clips, speaking to speaking to other clubs and other coaches to get references on players and and speaking to other players that were previous teammates to make sure that we got the right people in the building. But that was good. Christmas was good, but I'm really happy to be back. Let's talk a little bit about some of those players that you brought in. I, I know you're excited about a lot of them. Um, let's start in the back, uh, starting with the new man in goal, Austin Pack. What, what are you expecting from him this year? Yeah, no, Austin, I'm delighted that we've taken, you know, taken the opportunity to sign, sign Austin. Um, definitely easily the best keeper we came up against last season um, and it was you know really important to fill that fill that gap Jeff had a great season last year but I just look at Austin I look at the way he's come in the shape he's come in I'm really excited for him I think he'll be he'll be a brick wall at the back again for us which you know if you look at the club's history you know we've done really well in that department of signing top level goalkeepers for this league uh, moving up the field a little bit, two new defenders in this year, Mo Jadama and Tom Bruett, two guys I know you're really keen on. Uh, tell me a little bit about what your thoughts are on those guys. Again, yeah, important that we, you know, we looked at that area of the pitch and, and added some some experience and some real quality. So, so with Madhu Jadama, you know, Mo someone that I've I've been admiring from a distance for you know 18 months or so now, um, and you know, really happy to get him across. Really experienced player at this, you know, at this level can definitely play higher and I want to try and help him with that. But, you know, he's, he's a, a playoff guy. Um, he's played at some really good clubs, but knows the level, will be able to bring the quality and the, the standards of defending um, to a much higher level this year. So really happy with Mo. And then and then Tom Brewitt, someone that was highly recommended to me from, from a lot of my friends in England, um, someone that played in this league last season. But, you know, some of my friends that worked at Liverpool and, you know, worked with Tom was... You know, couldn't have spoken any higher of his leadership qualities. You know, technical leader and a and a social leader in terms of you know how well he communicates and sets standards. So, you know, he'll be someone that will be you know leading from the front. So I'm I'm delighted with those two signings. Uh, moving up the field into the midfield, um, Andre Lewis and Peter Lee Vassell, uh, two Jamaican midfielders. Peter Lee Vassell's gotten some time with his national team. Uh, these are guys I know you're excited about. Tell me a little bit more about them. Yeah, we, we, we nearly we nearly we nearly signed Andre last season. We were really close, we just couldn't get it over the line. Um a player that I really respect, um, a player again, someone that's worked extremely hard to get to where he has, you know, previously been called up to the national team squad as well in Jamaica. And just someone I just think he's gonna raise the level of how we attack the opposition's goal. He's a goal scoring midfielder. Just, you know, we, we know that first hand he scored scored against us a number of times last season and uh, you know he, he expressed his interest to come and want to play here and work you know work with my staff and myself and and I certainly wanted him to come here so happy with him Peter Lee is an incredibly talented boy um you know he's away at the moment with the national team he's reporting back in within the next 48 hours but I just think I can unlock some some doors that he don't he doesn't even realize exist for his, his ability and his potential so He's one that's again really exciting, and those two as a pair linking up together to you know create that synergy in the middle of the pitch will will be exciting for our fans to watch for sure. But before we move on, how how much did uh, seeing players around the league contribute to your pursuit of new players this off season? Yeah, I, you know I think it's I think it's invaluable. Um, you know I'll be completely honest. Last season I was coming in, I had a lot of help in terms of highlighting and recruiting the players whereas I think this season has been very much hands-on for myself and I'm, I'm far more comfortable at this point knowing exactly what I've got um, and I think you know with the help of some of my staff we've we've managed to we've managed to get players that you know we didn't think we would be able to go out and recruit and we've we've done it in a you know a really good way we've done it in the right way we've done our due diligence on everybody um, but it was it fills me with confidence now when I look at the roster on the board and I look at the, the, the level of talent and the depth of talent that we have in each position. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with where we sit at the moment. Position where you've added a lot of depth is up top forward strikers. Uh, Mitch Curry, Rashawn Daly, Prince Sadie. Uh, what can you tell us about those three guys? 
Well, Prince is lightning quick. Um, left left footed left winger. Um, I spoke with spoke with a couple of people again in the game that I really respect. Um, spoke with people that have played against him and just said how difficult they found playing against his pace. Obviously, you know anyone that's seen our teams will see how front foot we are and how exciting we are to watch and how open we are. And Prince is someone that I want the fans to enjoy. Um, we had that last season with a couple of players, and I want the fans to enjoy Prince. I want him to give the fans that feeling again. And when he picks up the ball, something exciting is going to happen. Rashawn, local boy, um, great person, great family. You know, again, loads of potential. He gives us a different variety. Um, it gives us that big target man that players can run beyond rather than him just trying to run behind and that soft touch into midfielders that can then express themselves in and around the box. Um, and then Mitch Curry, someone that, again, uh, you know, I remember from my time in England and, you know, you hear rumblings up north of him coming through and, you know, really reminds me of, a, you know, an on-the-shoulder type Michael Owen player, um, deadly in front of goal, really good finisher. And um, yeah, someone else is going to add goals to the roster. So again, I'm, I'm over the moon with those three signings. Let's talk about the stalwart. The one guy who's been here all four years, Danny Barrera, uh, coming off a campaign where he was named to the USL Championships All-League first team, eight goals, 12 assists. Uh, what are you expecting from him this season? Uh, same again. Same again. I, I, still, yeah, I still think, and you know, me and Danny are aligned in this for sure, that we think there's there's a little bit more there. We think he can go up at another level. He was magnificent last season. You know, every time he picked the ball up, something was going to happen for the team. He's got so much quality, but the, I think the thing with Danny for me is his leadership in terms of how he's got that bravery to go and try things on the pitch. Um, he's a technical leader, so he's not he's not the type of skipper that's going to be shouting at people in the locker room. He's someone that will put. You know, he'll put the emphasis on, watch this, come and follow me, watch how I perform. He's really consistent, thoroughly deserved to get in the, you know, the all-league team. And uh, I was delighted for Danny. And, and again, we're, we're expecting more of the same. So, you know, he'd come back in and come back in in great shape, by the way. You know, really impressed with how seriously he's took this off-season. And he's looking to attack attack the season again to, to have another really successful one. Can we bet on him being named the captain again this season, or is it too early to tell? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, two breakout players in 2021, uh, Juan Carlos Obregon and Tulu, guys who signed very close to the beginning of last season and really came on and made an impact right away. Uh, will you be leaning on them a little bit more this season than you were last year? No, I think something that the, the club really prided themselves on is is finding that untapped talent, finding those, you know, those misunderstood individuals that haven't quite found the place for them to grow. And, you know, Tulu was was a rock at the back for us last season and JC, you know, chipped in with double figures and, you know, he's, he's the all time leading goal scorer within one season at the club. So I think them coming back for a second season there will be expectation, which is a different animal, something different to deal with. But both guys have got you know, really good characters and we'll be able to, to deal with those challenges and those expectations. So, again, like I said before, I think one thing to stress is the guys that are coming back will be enhanced by the new players coming in. So you're not just going to see the same again. So you will see a, a better version of JC because Mitch and Rashawn and Prince will be pushing him. And same with Bruitt and, and Mo pushing Tulu. They'll, they'll be really, you know, pushing one another to get in that starting lineup. Uh, the roster, as, as it stands now, is a little smaller than it's been in years past. Uh, are you anticipating any more additions? We'll make one or two. Um, the plan, the plan that I spoke with the ownership group, and the plan with me coming back was, number one was to try and sign local talent. And, you know, with, with Rashawn and one or two others that we're looking at, that was really important because I think for the fan base to see one of their own on the pitch, it is really, really important for them. The other thing is to, you know, to push the academy. I need the younger players to be able to see, they need to see the first team. So if I go and sign 24 players, you're going to need seven, eight, nine injuries for somebody to be able to get a space on the roster. So for me, if we're looking at between 18, 20, 21, I think that would be perfect. And then, you know, the youngsters that we've got coming through in the U19s that, you know, Robin, our academy director, is doing a magnificent job there and Joe Lucas coaching the U15s and Cladice as well. I think what we've got is we've got now a pathway for our for our young players that are you know looking to express themselves. And you know, I'll try and get down to as many sessions as I can to try and make sure that I know who's coming through. But 
it's important that they get to see the first team and they get to see that there is a chance that you know if one or two are unavailable or they're doing really well or one or two are not then there's an opportunity for us to play a 15 16 year old in the first team and give them that opportunity what are some things from your first year that you're approaching or thinking about differently now that you've had a year of experience under your belt i think everything really i think like i touched on before the recruitment side of it i've been you know, I, I've been making those those calls this year and I've been really heavily involved, which has been, you know, really good. It's been comforting, it's been exciting. So, you know, now I've I've been able to, to buy the ingredients, now I can cook the meal, as someone once said. I think um I think the travel last year was was a surprise. I think everybody tells you about it, but the country's so big, such a big, big country. So I think in terms of the travel I'll be able to manage that a lot better and with that gap between between games, our intensity will, will be a lot higher. We've selected an extremely athletic team. I now know that, you know, I know of the, the, the top, top players in the league and, you know, we've got a few of those in our roster now, as you've seen, you know, we've taken quite a few from other USL teams and brought them to us. So I think we're on the front foot in that regard. First training session is tomorrow. What are you looking for from the boys? I just want to, you know, I want them to, I want them to just try and try and show me what they're about. I think the first training session for any any manager, any head coach is always exciting, and it's not just about the players impressing upon upon the manager. It's about the manager impressing upon the players, and I want to excite the players. I want to infuse them. I want them to see that, okay, this, this coach is good. He, he can deliver. He excites me and he inspires me, and I think I just want the same for them. I just want high energy. I want them to buy in. Um, for them to buy in, they've got to trust me. So that trust will come from the, you know, the belief in what I'm saying, the information and the detail that my, myself and my staff will try and get across. But ultimately, tomorrow will be, you know, the first of many great training sessions this season. And I'm looking for, you know, for people to try and stand out.